Hello my dear friends and welcome to process video number 114 entitled Brunwood Timber Magic and this is going to be my first layout of 2017. If you haven't um, watched my previous video, the one that I shared just before this, I had made a homemade kit that I plan on using for the month of January and February and all of the or most of the items in that kit has very masculine um, colors and schemes and so I plan on doing some boy pages here pretty soon. So my first one is about a an activity that my son did when he was still in elementary. So um, he's now an eighth grader and this was I believe 2013 so it's almost four years ago and um, this is um, an activity that they do at school where it's a combination of a health activity but at the same time it's a um, oh, what is that called? It's a fundraiser. So they try to get money and they run laps kind of to, to pay for the fundraiser or something. No, it's not to pay. It's kind of like, you know, when somebody's running for um, a good cause. Basically, that's what it is. And so they run around the field. Okay, so that is the story behind these photos. So it's very um, just typical school th theme. So I didn't really want to focus so much on the journaling and just want to focus on the story or the combination of the pictures and the, a little bit of the journaling and also just using some of the stash that I had planned to use. So what you see here, um, I have a white paper as my base and I cut out the inside of that because I usually use that for matting and for all sorts of things that I would need a white cardstock with. And then I cut that green paper about um, a quarter inch around all of it and then put that. And then I also, I laid um, my three by four photos. I have five vertical one and one horizontal and so for the horizontal I actually cut into a circle and then matted it with white cardstock and then cut it out with some scallop scissors. So I lay that in the center and then I mostly used some 6x6 six six paper. So that border on the bottom of the page, those are all actually 6x6 six six papers that I've kind of butted up next to each other so that it will make that whole span um, or it will fill up that whole uh, horizontal span of the layout. And then here I'm using the stamp set that I had pulled out for this kit and I really love it. It's from Reverse Confetti. It just has a lot of just basic words that could be used for a lot of um, layouts and um, it has kind of a scripty font and so I thought it was really cute. And so I'm going to add, I believe I'm adding two of them in this layout. And I'm going to position one on the left side, left edge, and then I'm going to do the other on the right side to, to create a balance with them. And then I also wanted to add the word magic. So at this point, I didn't know what title I was going to use, but I did know that I wanted that magic there. And I wanted to make sure that that's, um, that stayed in the raw state because of all of the colors on my page, I wanted that to just look um, wood. And I haven't adhered anything yet, but I have gone through a lot of my embellishments and my papers, and I've picked all of the items that I wanted. Now, there were these um, kind of sparkly butterflies that I had put in my kit, and I wanted to add three of those here. Um, the butterfly just kind of resonated with me that he was flying, and he was uh, doing really well with this particular activity. He actually did 17 laps around the field, so that was really impressive. And then I'm just adding some washi to add some design to my little blocks here. And I have this washi sampler that I got from a pocket letter that I'm just trying to use up. So that is the dressed up little um, block of, of um, paper there. And then now I'm going to finish out my titles. And these are letter stickers from Echo Park. And I'm just, I used some browns because there were a lot of bright yellows already and blues. And so I kind of wanted to stay in a neutral state. 
Now I have to let you know that I, because it's the new year, I wanted to try out a new video setup and I also was using a new phone with this and this phone apparently does not do um, fixed focus unless I put it on fixed focus. So that's why it goes in and out and I apologize for that and I will make sure that I fine tune my video process here um, pretty soon so that you don't have to deal with all of that technical stuff. So I'm almost done with this page. This page went by super fast. Um, I did leave out the journaling for later because um, I just decided to type my journaling in which I will add on the bottom border uh, with all those layered papers and I'm going to um, just journal, I mean just use the computer to journal to you to do my journaling and then I'm going to adhere that later on. So you're going to see it in the final photo but you won't see it with um, the with me adding it on there. So there is my page. Um, one last finishing touch. I have these they're kind of um, an enamel dot but they're they have glitter on them so um, I'm just going to be adding that to the centers of the butterflies and I think I'm going to add that in two different portions of the layout as well. So if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section below and I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you'll um, stay in touch and come back and watch um, another process video from me uh, with this homemade kit pretty soon so uh, I will catch you guys later. Thanks, bye!